Happy New Year, Brett. Happy New Year. I see you got your new Christmas shirt on. <laughs> Did Chris Kringle bring that for you? Yes. <clears throat> you look nice in it. Thank you. Still got my old rags on. It was time to get new shirts. You, you, you know when it's time, don't you? Like, <laughs> yeah, we guy, all do. When a when guy it, goes, oh, yeah, I got to get some new shirts. You know it's time to get some new shirts. <laughs> new shirts. New shirt time. It's very, very much needed. Yeah. So what do we have here today, well, I, Rob? I thought what we would have a little nice discussion <clears throat> about Taylor shapes, body shapes. Yes. Um, there are a few, and there are a few for a reason. Do you know what that is? I really don't know. Could you take I own a, a guitar could, shop, Could you but take a no stab idea. at why they would do different shapes and sizes? Maybe for the comfort. Maybe oh. for the different projection. <laughs> projection. <laughs> I practiced that all summer. <laughs> Winter. Uh, no, but I guess I'm guessing you're going to say for the comfort level and the projection. Well, the comfort and projection are really where Sound. it's at. Yeah, you know, it's it, you have to be comfortable. I. I've said it a hundred times. I've, I've said it a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be comfortable. If you're not comfortable <clears throat> playing your guitar, you're never going to pick it you're up. You're not going to play it, right? So yeah, and and you know the the thing is is like this guitar, regardless of the feel, sounds completely different from that dreadnought and from this guitar even. I mean, not so much different here to here, but I mean, this is a twelve fret. And it feels, sounds different than this, and it's yeah. almost the same guitar. Yeah, projection is part of it, but that can be missing. You, you, if we just said it's all about projection and bigger guitars make bigger sounds and smaller guitars make smaller sounds, that wouldn't be true because exactly. different wood combinations allow smaller guitars to really yeah. speak pretty well. Yes. Um, so that could be a, a little misleading. But, oh, did you hear that? Cakes are ready. <laughs> Cupcakes are ready. <laughs> Cookies are done. Um, so yeah. So, but really, comfort. I to me, it's it's it's. I you can know, tell you're all about it. I'm all about it because if if if, if I got if my arms up too high or I got to reach over, you know, I I'm not I'm not, not liking it. it in no. your new shirt. No. So, let's go through the body sizes and styles. Well, let's of talk tailors. about the two that we have. You want to yes. talk about the two that we have, and then we can. We can grab some others and yes. then we'll pretty much cover it. I would love So what to. do I have? I have this guitar is a oh I gotta my eyes are getting I'm getting old. 414 C E. So this is a grand auditorium. You got which it, is man. one of my Good favorites. Job. Yeah. Very, very comfortable guitar. This, <clears throat> for me, this is the right this is the right size right here. That's why I grabbed this one. So does anybody tell what this is? <clears throat> I know what it is. So it's kind of a special guitar. It is a 412 CE Rosewood 12 fret. So joins the body here. <clears throat> this guitar feels really comfortable. I don't feel like I'm really reaching, mm -hmm. you know, when I'm playing. It, I, I actually, <clears throat> if I'm playing like in the studio and I know I'm not going to get up past the ninth fret, mm -hmm. it's all I want to play. Yeah. It's just so much, so much more comfortable. I don't feel like I gotta like, like, giant, like do all this funky. Like I'm reaching already for that, yeah. and then I get up here, and to keep it from buzzing, I don't have to re. It doesn't. It's not such a, a task. And that's I that say. shorter scale <clears throat> gives you a little more. It feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And that is that body. That's a you said it's a four twelve. Twelve. So, so it's that a is concert. a concert. Yes. So the the this just to give a brief overview, zero at the end of a Taylor number is a dreadnought. A two is a concert, and a four is an A, which is an auditorium, and then a, a six is a symphony, and a eight, an yes. eight is an orchestra. Yes. <clears throat> so they get bigger as they go up. Other than Dreadnought is bigger than the concert, obviously. Yeah. So you kind of, that's an anomaly. But then 12, 14, 16, 18, uh, or 2, 4, 6, 8 is the body size. So these are two wonderful guitars. We're going to play demos of them here in a little bit. We're going to try to play the same lick. The same lick. Lick. And we're gonna, lick. you're going to be able to hear them through the same microphone. 
because Rob's going to sit right there, and I'm going to hand him guitars. He's oh, okay. going to be the guinea pig. Okay, we can do but that. Let's, let's pull these up. I'll grab some other ones, and we'll grab talk about these other okay. ones. Okay. <clears throat> so these are bigger guitars. This is a 16. That's an 18. Yes. This is the symphony. That's the orchestra. So you can kind of tell. Can you turn this a little? What, you don't? You don't think the mic picks up from over here? <laughs> it's going to pick up the tone off of this, the bottom of the neck. We get it. We get it. He's just learning, everyone. He taught his first chords last week. So here's this jewel. <laughs> Come, cat. <laughs> so this, like, this is a much more mellow tone to me of the 16. <clears throat> I like it. It's more. More mellow, more round. You almost did it. Finger pick with that thing a little bit, or do or pick a little. The world's worst finger picker. I have to agree. I doubt you're the worst. Worst in this room. No, but seriously, so what good, what, what good is that guitar? <laughs> What's that guitar good for? Everything. I, would, I mean, this is a great strummer, but... Uh... It's not terribly bright. No. So it's no. kind of a mellow finger style. Uh, I think this would be good for everything. Yeah. It's not too quiet. It's got a considerable amount of low end coming off yeah. of it for a guitar that's maple back and sides. Generally, I'm not a huge fan of maple on acoustics because it tends either. to be a little too harsh or bright and not very well balanced, but that sounds great. Yeah, like I said, it's got like a really round, mellow tone. Yeah, and I'm sitting behind it too, so I'm yeah. not even getting... You are. I'm not getting all of it. So, the, the, so we've talked about the concert, which is the, generally the, the idea is the smallest of the main body sizes. Mm -hmm. And you go to auditorium, and that's kind of the most common Taylor size. You really got something going I over there, Tiger. A fire burning in my pocket here. <laughs> Those cupcakes are burning. Let's turn that off. I wouldn't eat cupcakes out of there, out of that oven. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't lived yet, sir. <laughs> And then you've got the symphony, which is what this guy is. And to me, this feels pretty mellow. That sounds like it'd be really good for finger picking. Yeah. If you were any good at it. But uh, that's the 18. So uh, the only one we haven't grabbed, and I'll grab it so you can maintain your posture, is the Dreadnought. So this is... So your you premonition. Do that funky turn around. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, he's bringing that up because generally that's what a lot of people like uh, dreadnoughts for. And this is the uh, Taylor in Taylor Land. This is the. That's not just your. Oh yeah, that is your grandpa's guitar. <laughs> Could be. Your grandpa wouldn't be very old. But uh, but this is a so any any guitar in the Taylor uh, brand that ends with a zero is a dreadnought. And wow. That's definitely the fullest sounding guitar we've picked up out of this bunch. Yeah.
So a lot of brute bluegrassers favor dreadnoughts, and I think that's because you know Martin made them so well, and they project, they project well. Their line, yeah. And you know, if you think about, if you think back to the well said, <laughs> if you think back to like when they were recording a lot of bluegrass, it was five people standing around a, a one microphone. Yeah. And it had to project to get over the bass, over the banjo, over the fiddle, and over the those singers, yeah, man. Right. right. <laughs> or so, the, or there weren't any microphones. Yeah. A gathering. A gathering. I'm not gonna go there. Gathering of grassers. <laughs> Grass gathering. Grass gathering. <laughs> So now what we'll do, I'm going to hand Rob every guitar. Okay, and I'm going to play just the same kind the of same thing. lickage. Okay. Okay, so right. let's start with... So we'll start with the orchestra? Let's start with the zero. Okay. Let's go up through. That okay. way if somebody picks up on the video, they can go by series. So these are all, other than this one, this is a 300 series. The rest of these are 400 series guitars. That's not what we're really talking about here today, but this will give you an idea of what each body style sounds like if you're ever if you've ever wondered that and i think you know i've scoured the internet for weeks looking for a video like this where somebody compares the tones mm -hmm. and the sounds mm -hmm. and the sonic vibes of the taylor guitars and what's different about them and i can't find one well, here, here we go let's do it man Good. So okay. let's go for the uh, the four twelve. Get rid of this, and go I'll be the Roger, handy over. guy. <laughs> so you're over under. It's your vector, Victor. So here is the four twelve CE Rosewood twelve fret. So this is a little bit well, of an unfair is, comparison nice. because it's a twelve fret, but the tone, the body, the tone of the body will be really close to the same. The angle of the dangle. The dangle. <laughs> That's the 412. It's a nice EA. It's a nice EA. <laughs> e -A -E -A this is oh. should be the 14. Is it Friday? 414 CE. It's not, unfortunately. We've only been back to work for two days. This holiday business, I don't I don't know what day it is anymore. Well, I'm I'm ready to be back here. Let me make a point, and I know I'm going to be really serious here. It's very rare, but I'm going to be very serious. Yeah. You played that guitar completely different than you did the other two. How is that? You played it with a lot more conviction. Really? And I think, it, I think it's because you like it, you want to hear it more, and that's what, to me, that's what everybody should do. Yeah. They should play a bunch of different guitars and try them out and you know it does feel really nice but order very, from more guitars <laughs> no, I'm just very inspiring but that's what i'm saying you played that with much more <laughs> conviction really and you know it's like it's like you found your fit okay. no pun intended that's what they call their road show find your fit they used to anyway but anyway so i bet they change it now <laughs> <laughs> yeah because we did it we've tainted the promotion but um but that's my point is like he played it differently because it spoke to him. What did it say, Rob? It was mumbling. Something Sweet about, nothings. Something about, is it Friday yet? 416 CE Limited. So we're back to 14 fret guitar, but just a little bit bigger body, a little deeper. Let's hear it. Mm -hmm. 
Sound of that too. I'm torn between the four and the six. Not my favorite, but still very no, nice. But you play that well. You're really coming along your first two weeks of lessons. <sighs> my teacher says if I stick with it, might be somebody. Uh, I might, might get a job in a music some store help. someday. <laughs> what do we got? This is back it's to the, the orchestra. 18, 418. So, that's a nice little ditty you got going there, buddy. Well, thank you. You're welcome. You're coming a long way in two weeks. Appreciate that. So, been working very little. This it. has been what? <laughs> <laughs> very little. So, this what we what we've done is I hope what we've done is like open, you know, give you a little insight on what the different body styles are for, what they sound like, you know, you can't always trust microphones on a, on a video, but please take some headphones, plug them in, and listen because these are good quality microphones. There's no EQ going on, just straight into the microphone, straight into the preamp, straight into the converter, into your, into your ear hole. And then, um, you know, give, give them a listen. If you have any questions, you can always call us. That's what we're here for. We would love we for you to call us. Yeah. Live chat, email. Text. Question air, homing pigeon. Yes, and uh, <laughs> you can, you know, make sure. Please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click all the little buttons to where we end up in the top of your notifications because we're getting ready to start ramping up our video production and having a lot more fun with it. So we hope to talk to you about Taylor guitars. Yeah. And these different body styles and stuff. If you have any questions, please, please, please give us a call, live chat or email. Be Reason. comfortable. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Hey. Yeah. Made you look. Uh, Dummy. See ya. Bye bye.